Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier today, we had a look at the StatCounter desktop browser market share worldwide. And StatCounter now have also released their latest desktop Windows version market share worldwide for the month of February 2023. So just to do a quick comparison between January and February of this year. And there are a couple of interesting things going on in February. Windows XP 8, 8.1, Windows 7, as many of you know, are all unsupported operating systems that have reached their end of life. And believe it or not, Windows XP has actually increased uh, since January from 0.45% to 0.46%. And um, Windows XP does remain a very popular operating system, believe it or not, in a lot of regions worldwide. And when it comes to Windows 8, it has decreased from 0.62% to 0.52%. Now, yeah, we can see that uh, maybe next month, Windows XP will actually overtake the original release of Windows 8 and move into uh, fifth place from sixth, where it's been for quite a while. Uh, very interesting what's going to happen here over the next month or so. Uh, Windows 8.1, 2.31% in January, 1.15% in February. Windows 7 has nosedived. 9.62% um, uh, in Jan and 5.39% uh, in February, as we can see, which means that the Windows 7 market share has nearly halved uh, in the last month. So obviously, um, that's now decreasing because a lot of... Um, Enterprises and corporations were tied into the ESU program, which is now obsolete. So obviously a lot of um, Windows 7 users are moving on mainly to Windows 10, which we'll get um, to in a little bit. Now moving on to Windows 11. Now Windows 11 seems to be increasing, give or take, by 1% every month. That's give or take. And has increased once again um, from January to February from 18.13% to 19.13%. So that's exactly 1% increase from January to February. But overall, over the last couple of years, year or so, since the release of Windows 11, it has more or less increased 1% uh, per month. So interesting one to watch. And then Windows 10 has skyrocketed once again. 68.75% in January, 73.25% for February. And I think that's mainly because of Windows 8, 8.1, 7 have all become unsupported over the last while. And those movers, those uh, users have moved on now to Windows 10, which obviously makes sense because a lot of these systems and devices will not be able to support Windows 11. That's why they've moved on to Windows 10 because a lot of those older devices will carry support for Windows 10 and not Windows 11. Now with that out the way, just to have a look at the chart quickly. And obviously you can see Windows 10 way out in front. Um, came down a little bit and now has increased as mentioned. Um, Windows 11 in second place, but just the interesting one, Windows 7, you can actually see the nosedive of Windows 7 basically over the last month or so. So that's interesting. And that just gives us a bit of a wider perspective as to what's going on. But interesting, Windows XP could overtake Windows 8 and Windows 7, 8, 8.1 unsupported. And that's why I feel Windows 10 now has basically skyrocketed over the last month. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.